What deliciousness are we making? We're gonna do a squash galette. So what's a galette? A galette is essentially a rustic pie. Um, so we're gonna make a pie crust, um, but instead of making it like uniform and pretty on the outside, you essentially, you roll it out so it's a bit wider and then you fold it over the filling. We can get you to add in the chickpea flour, one cup, uh, a quarter cup of cornmeal. In here we have one tablespoon of rosemary and one tablespoon of thyme chopped finely. That's the other part of savory pies. You can put herbs in the crust so it tastes better. Um, and then we have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. First step is we are going to mix the dry ingredients just so that they're all uniform. Nice. That's it. So this is where it gets, not tricky, but this is where you need a little bit of um, time Finesse? and attention. We already put the time in. Oh, it's an herb joke. Uh, the next is we're gonna add the fat component. You want it to be flaky. So we have half a cup of plant-based butter that's nice and cold. So I'm just gonna pulse it, okay. and you're gonna add the butter, and then we're gonna do it until there's little pea form. Little little crumblies. Little crumblies, yeah, exactly. So I'm happy with that texture, okay. so you can still see the little bits. So now we're going to add our water, because that's gonna combine it all. So we're going to slowly add three tablespoons. We have the ice cubes in the water just to keep it as cold as possible. So it's starting to form balls, which means that's perfect. We are just going to put a piece of saran wrap down, and we're going to pull that out. Just like a ball? Yeah. And then just wrap her up? Exactly. I'm gonna let it sit into the fr uh, in the fridge for a minimum one hour. Now what? I'm gonna get you to put some brown rice flour on the bottom, please. Now we are going to roll it out. It is very forgiving. So you wanna roll it out into a disc. And again, because it's a gluten-free one, it's not gonna be as stretchy as a normal pie crust. And by not as stretchy, you mean not stretchy at all? At all, exactly. When you're making this at home, take your time with it. Yeah. Don't rush it. Keep using the spatula. Keep rotating it. Just because then you know that's not gonna stick. So we slid the galette crust onto the parchment, and now we're going to make the filling. We're using butternut squash. We roasted this for 15 minutes at 400. So we are going to start with about three tablespoons of Dijon mustard and this little pocket of joy. This is roasted garlic. You can just squeeze it out exactly like that. And this seems like a lot of garlic, but when you roast it too, it mutes the flavors a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it gets much more mellow. I love it in here just because I think it adds some really nice flavor. I know, it's, it's heaven. So we got that garlic and mustard all nicely mixed together. Yeah, so now we're gonna add like two tablespoons just to the bottom. So this is going to be the glue that holds the squash and the shallots down. You don't want to go anywhere closer than two inches around the edge, because that's actually where we're going to turn the glut up. And so now in this bowl, we have about one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of maple syrup, a um, quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add butternut squash, in there. Just toss it around. Toss it around. And then we're also gonna add four shallots that are thinly sliced. It might seem like a lot of shallots, um, but again, once it's roasted in the oven, it's gonna get very nice and mellow. It's gonna get a bit sweeter. So you're gonna mix that around. So now is where you get to make a beautiful shape. The reason why you par cook the squash is so that as it overlaps, you're not gonna get raw spots. So this is more just to kind of like make sure everything can sit happy together. Now I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna split it into half. I'm gonna create my middle. Grab the shallots and then kind of drape them over them. a bit, yeah. And then that way they're gonna caramelize as it bakes. So now what you're gonna, you're just gonna take that little extra inch, and you're gonna flip it up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of create a barrier so any juices as it's cooking can hold in. So you're just gonna go around the edge. So once all the edges are up, now, again, you want to go around and you just kind of want to like, make sure all the seams are filled on, around the edge. We are going to brush the outsides with a little aquafaba, uh, just so that we can get a nice brown crust on the outside. You can also use a plant-based milk if you don't have aquafaba. Um, I just find that it gives you the best glaze. And aquafaba is? Chickpea water. And so this is in place of like an egg wash. Exactly, yeah. I am going to give this like, three cracks of pepper on the top. All right, and there we have our little squash gut. Uh, we're gonna bake this for 15 minutes at 375. So we're gonna rotate it and then we're gonna bake it for another 10 to 15 minutes. 
So I'm really dying to dive into that galette. Mmm. The mustard. Oh no, I lost some. Are you okay down there? That mustard pairs perfectly with all the herbs. Mm-hmm. Living inside that crisp, it just kind of highlights them somehow. That's what I like about the crust. You can actually taste the herbs. It's not like they get lost in it. It reminds me of like, you know that dumpling soup that we used to have? Yeah. That. It's very herby and, and festive. This, this this is like a bite of the holidays right in and of itself with all of those delicious herbs. Happy holidays to everyone from PB with Jay.